Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. Welcome to another video on our Happy Series. In this video, we will implement basic authentication in our Happy project and we will use the Happy Auth Basic plugin to implement that. I'm using the FutureFlix sample application. It's a Netflix like streaming application we will use for other tutorials as well. And yeah, before diving into the details, you should know that you can find the tutorial for an easy read and the code snippets for copy and pasting on our website. It's the first thing in the description below, so check it out. Now that we want to implement basic authentication, you need the Happy Auth Basic plugin, or you can you probably want to use the Happy Auth Basic plugin because you don't want to implement a new strategy for basic authentication yourself. So install it with npm and add it as a project dependency to your package.json file. I'm using npm5, which automatically saves it as a project dependency in the package.json file. It will take a couple of seconds to install it. And the, yeah, the package.json file updated itself in the background. You can see that we now have installed version 4.2.0 for our project. All right, let's switch to a dedicated authentication plugin that we are using to register and configure all the authentication strategies in the FutureFlix application. You can see that there's already an existing registration for the Happy Auth Cookie plugin. Let's duplicate this and register the Happy Auth Basic one. All right, now you need to implement the basic authentication. Let's do it here. Authentication in Happy is based on strategies and the strategies are based again on schemes. So with the registration of the Happy Auth Basic plugin, we will have the basic scheme available to base our basic strategy on it. You can choose different names to distinct between them, but it's basic authentication. So we will register a basic authentication strategy on, based on the basic scheme. So hopefully you can follow me with all the basic, basic, basic. So you can see that WebStorm highlights the signature for the method. It expects the name, the strategy name, the basic schema, and we will skip the mode and just pass an options object. Within the options, it's, there's a required validate function that you need to use to validate the incoming credentials and validate them against existing credentials in your data store and to check whether the user name or the email address is existent and the passwords match. So the validate function is called validate func. It has a signature with the request, the email address, the password and the callback. The request is the incoming request. The email address can be a username. So if you're using a username password combination it's fine for future flicks we're using the email and password combination so it's up to you just choose what you want we will use a user model it's a mongoose model because we are storing the data in mongodb and the user model has a static method that is called find by email so we will check whether there's a user existent with the email address in our database So in case there isn't any user with the given email address, we will reject a promise because we will have another step in the promise. We can't immediately return the callback because it would be returned in the promise chain, but we will reject the promise. So it will be within the catch handler and every other error will already be catched within the same catch block. So let's add this first and return the callback with the error. And there's a second parameter that can be used. It's the, it's the Boolean parameter for if the credentials are valid. We can pass false. It's false by default, but just let's be explicit. All right, and because boom isn't imported yet, let's do that. All right. So the next step is to check whether the passwords match and we have a method for on the user instance that compares the password with a given candidate password, which is the one you got from, from Happy. 
So in case the candidate password is correct and matches the existing password in the database, the method returns a user object. And in case it doesn't match, it returns an error, a promise rejected error. So you can just rely on the existing functionality down here. But if you expect the user to be a valid user in your database where username or email and passwords match, you're expecting another promise. So let's check it. All right, so now you need to return the callback. There is no error. We have a valid user and we return it as the credentials. So the third parameter in this callback is the credentials object, which is passed to the route handler. Let's use it like this. All right, that's the functionality we want as our validate function. Now let's add a route that requires the new strategy. Let's copy the existing profile route and add a new one called, it's on the private path and also gets a handler method called private. Let's duplicate this one as well. It will be private. And now we require the basic authentication and we don't want to reply the view. So we want to reply a custom method message that you believe me that the implementation is working the way you expect it. All right, let's return the following message. Okay, so we will return a string, just the user passed the authentication successfully. And let's check it within, no, oh, at first let's start our FutureFlix server so that we can see if it's working. All right, the server is starting. That's a really good sign. So now let's use the Postman tool to check whether the basic authentication is working as we expected. All right, let's send a request to our new route that requires basic authentication and check whether the given credentials are passing the validate function successfully. Let's at first pass in the URL. It's on pass private. Yes, that is. The first thing we are starting is, an, is a request without any credentials available. So we're expecting a 401, which is unauthorized, and we hope our happy server is working correctly. Let's see. All right, the authentication is missed. Now let's add basic authentication, and let's take a user that isn't existing to check whether the request passes, which shouldn't pass, and check whether the message is correct. Let's send it. All right, that's the message we expect. There is no user with the given credentials. Specifically, there is no user with a given email address. Now let's add a user which is existing but has a wrong password. Update the request and send it again. Okay, the error message is correct. The entered password is wrong, which is really specific. You don't have to be specific at it as I did in the, in the message, but yeah. Okay, now let's see if our request passes successfully, if the password is correct. Let's see. Hey, and there we get our successful message. So everything is working as expected. You can see that we get the hey buddy message, which means that you are passing this, uh, the authentication successfully, use the username, which is the email address, and the passwords match them in the database, and the user instance is passed to the route handler, which can be used within the route handler's implementation. All right, let's shortly review what you have learned and go back to the implementation. You can see that we have created a new authentication strategy based on the authentication scheme, which is available from the plugin we have registered. And the validate func makes sure that the given credentials are valid. There is a registered user with a given email address and the passwords matches and we are leveraging the compare password method, which is instance method on the model. You can have another implementation. That's what we prefer. So, and the callback, which is required to be returned, has a null value for the error because there is no error. It is a valid credentials object and we pass the user object as the third parameter. And in case there's any issue with the credential check, we pass the error object and a false for 
to, to indicate happy that the credentials are invalid. We hope you learned something new and know how to implement basic authentication on your happy server. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos on happy. Enjoy your day, enjoy coding and make it rock.